Hey guys, it's Quirky Turtle, and this is going to be the first video that I post after version 1.3 drop. And I wanted to do a video about the new weapon since it's probably one of the main points or major updates in this new update that came out. Um, so I will be doing a video later on about the entire update and everything that has changed and or is new. So let's take a look at the new weapon. It was called the Void Mantle. It is a orb throwing spell casting character or class and gone ahead and unlocked every single mod for it so i could explain which ones i think are the best and which ones i'll be using in this video so first off the top row the first and second ones are really really good i prefer orb burst and i don't suggest taking laser focus unless you don't like the way that you charge like this is the laser focus which basically makes your spell casting um like the skill soul siphon which isn't a skill i like so i don't suggest using it and orb burst just has so much damage so on third attack you launch three orbs so three orbs of 16 damage is a lot um onto the second row they're all pretty good, but Darkening is the best in my opinion, mainly because it will deal either 30 damage um, or it'll deal 10% of the uh, enemy's health, which is just ridiculous. It works on champions, doesn't work on bosses, it doesn't work on mini bosses, but works on all other enemies. And then on the bottom row or the third row, Ghostly Image is pretty good. They're all pretty situational, but I prefer Grim Duality basically because um, it, it's just a, a super decoy in a way, so enemies will just attack that instead of you, which allows you to have time to cast your dark spell. And for the ultimate mod, Void Field, your dark spells have a 5% chance to instantly kill all non-boss enemies. So obviously this does not work on mini bosses, bosses, or champions, but all other enemies will instantly die. Um, hopefully I'll be able to proc it in this run to show you what it does and this is the decoy so every 10 seconds you can dash and you'll spawn in a decoy depending on the mods that you have they'll either attack deal some aoe or he'll do what i he just did there which is become a decoy and when he dies he will cast one of the dark spells um since i'm going with the lightning dark spell aka darkening i will be taking these um relics so starting with eye of the storm because a you're gonna be doing a lot of third attacks until you can do a spell cast um so it's just beneficial on absolute ambition your spells or dark spells scale with skill damage which makes sense so i'm going to be taking skill damage for that reason and then the dark spell is also lightning damage because that's the spell i took so i'll be taking spark ring as well and let me just quickly double check my ember tree yep i knew i had the wrong ember tree set up on i'm gonna take earned vitality giant slayer pocket change confidence guardian angel relic dice skill dice refinery expansion and bonus relic and then i'm going to be using the run modifiers of three haste three onslaughts one pantheon one douse and five blitz So your spell cast is an AOE damage. So it does this, right? And then boom, it casts lightning and they'll target this dummy or um, the shade, I think. No, it's not shade. What is it? And I actually don't know what it's called. Wow. But anyways, they target that. It's basically just a dummy that they'll target instead of you, which is very beneficial. And with this build, I'm looking for Judgment, if possible. Um, damn, we didn't get it. So we'll, we'll just go Cyclone, because being able to make everybody go in one area is very, very beneficial. It also pulls away enemies from me, which allows me to do stuff like that. Um, wow, we got Sparkling again. Nice. So the entire point of this build that I'm going with, at least, that I've seen and i believe this is the best possible build for this weapon at the moment or that I, we've found so basically just full lightning and scaling skill damage general saber 
could be really good with this build because your dark spells um, can deal so much damage. But if you look at my stats, you can see that I have 0% crit. This weapon starts with 0% crit, which means going a crit build just isn't viable at the start. So I'm going to roll again. Wow, we got we got the last spark ring. We've maxed out spark ring. Holy, we're actually going to be dealing so much damage. First, first we need to uh, charge back up our five orbs, and then we use this and 42 damage. Wow. That's not even as much as I thought it was going to be, actually. Okay, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe spark ring doesn't work. Hmm. But it should be. Weird. Let's, uh... Once I destroy this guy, let's see if I can... Okay, it definitely works. That was 144 damage. 100% that worked. Holy... <laughs> so, w with the, the lightning dark spell, which, damn, I got hit. I just lost 5% skill damage, technically. So, with the dark spell, the lightning, aka, I believe it's called darkening in the mod section, um, whenever you use your dark spell, you cast two lightning bolts, and each of them will deal 10%. Um, of the enemy's health or deal 30 damage multiplied by skill damage and increased by spark ring or whatever else will increase lightning damage because it is lightning damage so as you can see it just so what you saw right there is what the insta kill looks like so when you're going to insta kill every enemy in the room that's what it looks like that that is it so obviously the downside to it is it only insta kills enemies that are actually on screen so if there's another wave or something it won't kill those as well now sanguine is going to be decently difficult unless i do this and then a lot of damage there also damn i got hit Oof. this gives us a lot of time to just do that and dead <laughs> also I don't know if I was ticking them down. I'll have to go back and look at that. Obviously destroy that mini boss. They also buffed Meteor here. Uh, Meteor now casts when you're below 20% health, which is ridiculous. Um, charge trinkets. This is probably pretty good. It'll give us more lightning and Conduit Spike's also really good with this build because you're going to be third attacking quite, quite often. And then charge trinket is just another way to summon some lightning wisps. Basically, you just commit to the lightning build, and you should easily, I mean easily, win. Like, just ridiculous damage. Um, the main attacks of this weapon obviously scale with damage, not skill damage. Um, which isn't a downside by any means. It's just something to remember and think about. Now you can only cast your dark spell if you have all five orbs circling you. So you have to ensure that <laughs> you have all the orbs, otherwise you're just charging for basically no reason. We'll just take wisps here, because it doesn't really matter. And the only reason why we're taking healing fountain is basically because I want to keep this video kind of short. So going through a healing fountain is probably a lot faster than uh, going through an entire room. Um, you can also charge up your orbs. So you charge them up and then you just roll out of it. Um, they will stay charged. However, I'm not quite sure what the difference is there. Um, I'm assuming it's just more damage or just faster charge time. I, I don't know. I haven't really seen a noticeable change. However, once again, I haven't been looking straight for it. Um, I think we just take Plasma Ball. Keep our two rolls. It's, it's not like they're going to be going anywhere. So on to the A1 boss fight. This fight is generally really easy. Also, we got Igniza. Uh, they nerfed Igniza, so you shouldn't get absolutely decimated by her anymore. However, she's not weak either. Um, God, I actually dodged all those? Wow. That is surprising.
Oh yeah, look at look at that. Look at how slow she is. This isn't max move speed, but that is that is pretty close to what the max move speed would be. Also, just look at those chunks of damage. One more spell cast or dark spell, and they're dead. Now, this weapon is pretty strong early on, especially if you take uh, relics from the Ember Salt. But it's not my favorite weapon by any means. Basically, just because uh, the playstyle is very different than what I'm used to. And this area is gonna be a piece of cake as well. Wait, there's only like three enemies in the room. Wow, okay. <laughs> L2 Conduit Spike is always a good choice. Um, excuse me, gold. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Alright, so now we use the dark spell and we did not insta kill everything. It's edge, but it's bound to happen sometime. Do we want damage? No. We want skill damage because we want to up our dark spell damage. Look, look at that. Just instant. Instantly kills everything. Bang. 200. I. Wow. I insta killed it too? Like, what? Come on, man. That's so weird. We're just, like, unlucky, actually. Uh, do we roll? I think we roll once. Uh, not bad. We could take Storm Ward. Whenever an enemy is damaged by lightning, there's a chance to leave a temporary static charge on the ground that stuns enemies. Mainly because, obviously, if you can stun them, you don't have to worry about them because they're stunned. So they're not going to be able to do anything to you. And there is the safety island here that I might end up going to, but we got a little bit lucky with that and wow we are unlucky with that real unlucky damn i'm just gonna go to this island and cast some dark spells solid 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 always take the gold route unless you're trying to save up ember um, gold will basically allow your run to go better but ember is obviously a progression so This weapon has high potential for a lot of damage, as you can already see that it's dealing a lot of damage. And this isn't even, like, stupid strong yet. I mean, it's pretty strong, don't get me wrong, I'm already at 90% on absolute ambition. But it can always get stronger, you know? 280 damage there, and yeah, not bad, but what if I did, like, 400 damage, you know? I don't think it's time to scale crit, I really don't. So I'm going to scale damage, which will increase the third attack's damage, not the dark spells, which is fine. Um, we got Blizzard. Damn. Blizzard is annoying because obviously they throw enemies at you, and it is just awfully annoying. I mean, the, the DPS with this uh, setup is just crazy, and I've been getting so lucky with all of these skill damage gems. Like, it's just crazy. And we got a Mimic King? Oh my god. So, I completely lost track of where that chest is. Not that I was going to guess anyways. Um, the one downside with this weapon that I see that is kind of a high downside, unless you have a crazy build like this, I'm assuming... I would fully test it, but you have to defeat 12 mimics. Like, to put it into perspective, the staff, which, yeah, it, it's a much different weapon, I guess, but similar, like, features, I guess. Um, you only have to kill seven. Like, it, it's way less. Like, way, 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 way less. I need to get more mimics out so that I can kill them. Oh no, there's both here. Okay, wow, yeah, we did it. I honestly thought for a second we weren't gonna make it. Like, honestly. Alright, 
please. Uh, no judgment. I was really looking for judgment. Honestly, Shocking Revelation does nothing for us, I'm gonna be honest. Um, crit stun, none of these. Although, Warlock's Grip could be good. That's an increase of 25% damage. If I have all five Wisps, that is. Um, might as well take it. Uh-oh, Vanguards are coming out to play. But it's no worry because this build is correct. I'm thinking along the lines of health. For a couple of reasons, that is, actually. So, the first reason why I chose health is basically Brit just has, like, no use right now for me. And later on, if I get hit, it's gonna take... It's gonna tank me because, obviously, I'm only at, like, 100 health now. If I don't start scaling it faster, or scaling it, period, then I might get uh, stuck with really low health in like A5. Just get one tapped or something. There's also no interaction between um, us or this new weapon and apples. Um, they can't do anything to it. So, unfortunate, but it's okay, I guess. So, right there, I just killed. Every enemy in the room, as you saw by the demon eyes, I guess. I guess that's the indicator for when you can't see um, where, where the enemies are. You just see that and you know you insta-killed everything. Or at least that wave. I'm just gonna start casting the dark spell. You can also move while casting the dark spell. So that's incredibly beneficial. So whenever Bruma does this sword attack, I like to just sit on a wall and dodge because it is basically just the easiest way to dodge every single attack. Oh yeah, another thing is, just about the new update that is, uh, mini bosses drop the two small gems and bosses drop one big gem. Um, it's just a quality of life thing, honestly. It makes more sense, too, that a, a boss would drop a big gem. We're going to take some move speed, because you do start with 95% move speed. So, taking move speed is awfully beneficial. So, one of the new things in version 1.3 is curses. Um, this will be just a quick rundown on it. I'll, I'll do a video later on that will explain it all. So when you get to A3, you get an option of choosing one curse. You're given four because if you're playing in co-op, up to four players, obviously, each person needs to be able to have a curse. So solo, you get four choices, basically. These ones are Bane of Mortality. Whenever you receive damage, you lose that much max HP. But whenever you defeat a boss or mini boss, gain 25 max HP. Honestly, pretty good if you're doing a lot of loops, because if you don't die in A3, you're going to gain a lot of health. Uh, Bane of Shrouding, except around you, darkness engulfs each room. You have a 20% 20, 20 chance to ignore damage, which means when you take damage, you have a 1 in 5 chance of basically just not taking the damage, ignoring it, dodging it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Bane of Leeching, you can no longer heal from items or healing. Uh, defeating an enemy heals you for 1 HP. This is also a really, really good one. Um... Bane of Wisdom is also really, really good, especially if you only have one skill that you really need, uh, which is, generally speaking, you do. Um, your second skill slot is locked. Your first skill slot gains two additional charges. Um, this is what I'm going to go with. Less of a hindrance to the run. Like, there's no real downside. Um, as well as... It's just good, because I can have more Cyclones, which is just more AoE clear. Supreme Ambition does not work with your Dark Spell. It's a spell, not a skill. It doesn't work. Just to clarify, it does not work. Um, wow, these are not good. I'm going to roll. We got Brittle. Hmm. 
No, I think we just take uh, Search Pendant, honestly. Increase the skill damage. And then... Is it time for crit? Nah, I don't think it's time for crit. I really don't. See, I didn't perfect my dark spell there, so it didn't actually cast. You have to perfect the uh, casting, like, animation, I guess, is what it's called. Actually, it doesn't even say perfect, but it's like, if you charge it for too long, it doesn't work. There it works. Uh, I don't know. I guess I need to test it a little bit more to fully understand it. Wow, up to 395% skill damage. Once again, interacting with the well, and I got nothing. I'm just going to cast my skill there. Spell. Alright, Pristine Band can give me some max health. But... I think it's just time to roll, honestly. Got Judgment. Is it worth taking? I think it's definitely worth taking. Um, however, I, I do want, yeah, this. So w when you do have this curse on, you can still swap your skills around. Um, however, you just obviously can't use both in a fight or anything like that. Uh, if I roll, I'm not gonna be able to buy anything. So I'm just gonna buy this and be gone. So you can't charge attack without uh, having all the orbs as well. It's just a short range attack and it does more damage for the more orbs you use, I believe. Um, obviously, uh, I, I need to do a little bit more testing on that, but that's what it seems like, at least. Damn, I think we got Herald on uh, a charlatan. So... My dark spells are dealing about 300 damage, so I'm gonna just try to um, stay away, kind of thing. They're gonna get pulled back, I know. Oh, wait, it's a different person who does that. Never mind. Different variant. <laughs> Full max health, not bad at all, actually. We'll just do this, and then. This, this, 500 damage on Judgment. Wait a second, that wasn't even like perfected or anything. Well, perfecting does reduce the uh, the damage. Wow, okay, insta kill everything. Nice, totally didn't want to see damage numbers at all. Nope, definitely was not what I was going for there. <laughs> all right, let's see which wisp we get. Got the fire one, which I can't remember what his name is, but he exists. <laughs> we got a mimic. You gotta be kidding me. I'm feeling like more move speed, honestly. The faster I can move while charging my spell. I think the more beneficial it is, honestly. Alright, let's, let's go. Yeah, Offering Pit. Ah, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I, I did do some testing, and if you toss in a curse, you do not get another curse out. You lose the bonus of this curse, unless there's any permanent effects of it. Um, and you just get a normal relic out of it, because they're the same tier as like a common relic. So, in other words, I do not suggest throwing in a curse to Bob. It is not worth it at all. So nice. Overloading necklace. Keeping it along the lines of our lightning build. Solid. Lightning builds are always fun. Uh, once again, I'll go healing fountain. 
I'll try to get going quicker because I can already see this video being extremely long. Bang. Like, look at that chunk. That, that's a big chunk. Also, wow, what the... That is... Judgment. Judgment is going crazy. Absolutely crazy. And we got crit. Oof. <laughs> Not the stat I wanted to see. Um, so once you beat A3, the curse becomes cleansed. But you just saw that animation there of me cleansing my curse. Which now I got the boon of wisdom, which your first skill slot gains two additional charges. And the curse is gone. We'll take move speed once again. For up to 175%. Everybody has a struggle trying to find these rooms, or this secret room, with the right skills, and somehow, every single run I do, I find it. Every single run. I'm not trying to flex, I'm not trying to do anything, but every single run I do, I find this. Even if I didn't have judgment, boom, there's Ali Azir, they can, you can activate him, and your attacks will activate them. Um, crazy. It's actually insane how many people just cannot find this room. Or, I guess, the last room. I'm still talking about that one. <laughs> it is ridiculous to me. Boom. We should be at, like, what, almost 500% skill damage? Wow. Okay. We are cooking. That's, that's why Judgment is doing so much damage. Dang. I'll uh, pop all these here and go to the shop. Huh. I'm gonna roll. Yeah. Uh, sure. Let, let's just take it. We're gonna be stunning, occasionally at least, so might as well, you know. I as well. Yep. 432 damage. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Bang. 482 damage. Bang. 437. Holy... Oh, let, let's do this. Let's, uh, you know, bunch them all up. You know, they didn't actually get all bunched up. But it's fine. Now, remember when I said things are going to start dealing damage? Yeah, th this is where things start to deal damage. Look at my health bar. That was, like, two hits. Oh... Oh, we got the uh, cleanup crew. Let's just uh, spell on them and destroy them. And then skill cast, skill cast. Wow. You're going to die before you cast that. Yep. And you're also dead. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love this build so much. Ow. Not mean to hit by that. Yeah, I'm just brute forcing through this, I'm not gonna lie. Is it smart? Not really. But am I smart hundred percent of the time? Nah. It's it's fun to do uh dumb things sometimes. As as long as it doesn't obviously hurt him anybody or put anybody in danger uh bob. bob 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 is it worth to get bob let's just take the refinement see what i can do absolutely nothing because i'm broke <laughs> all right fair enough buddy ow We are definitely looking at the health fountain, healing fountain. It is 
so useful and needed here. We got another Ash Room. Now this time we're not going to be uh, dumb, stupid, whatever you call it. We're, we're going to do this the way it's meant to be done, which is destroy all of the crystals first and then deal with the enemies. Alright, one more room and then boss fight. No, don't enhance anything. Thank god. Damn it! There's more Tesla coils that I forgot about. Good things got enhanced anyways. Ow. Man. Hate it when things get supercharged. Alright, let's uh... Let's just destroy Mac here, honestly. Like, three judgment casts and one spell cast and it's over for them. Absolutely over. I hope, at least. I don't even have any skills right now. Damn. But there we go. That was that was one good one. Wow. One one judgment cast did so much damage. Yep. This this build went from showing the new weapon to crazy judgment build. Oh my god. I swear, I'm, I'm just trying to show off the new weapon. I swear. Five hundred and fifty five percent skill damage. Uh, let's, let's go max health, since we didn't get a skill damage option. Which is very, very sad, honestly. That's what I was looking forward to, was the skill damage. Alright, let's use the dark spell on this one. It's doing 400 damage. It's not bad at all. It's just, judgment is ever so slightly better, because it's a couple more, uh bolts, or at least one more bolt. Insta-killed the room, let's go. Bang. I was hiding behind the crystal. Oh, this is the champion room. That's okay. Champions still die. Ah, uh, that hurt. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. God damn. Oh, god. Uh... <laughs> not, not sure it killed everything, but we'll take it. <laughs> I wish I had, like, fire or something, so I could actually cook the food and get more out of it. But it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it. Um, I'm thinking Relic, and then Healing Fountain, and then move on to something else, I guess. Use the Dark Spell, yep. Kill everything. Well, let's take none of these because these are so bad. Actually, especially Wizard's Head's not bad. 25% skill damage for uh, 6 seconds whenever I stun an enemy. I should be able to stun enemies quite often. I like to think at least. Although they might just die, so maybe not. Maybe hey, my logic's a little flawed.
Nice. Gain some skill damage there as well, just because we perfected the room from absolute ambition. Uh, looks like we're going to be going the health potion room and hopefully not get hit so that we can be basically full health by the time we uh, leave this area. Which might be an issue considering we have the really, really annoying slash dumb room modifiers, but it might be okay. We can get a dark spell cast off. Uh, it wasn't really, like, amazing, because it didn't do much, to be honest. Um, obviously, it probably killed, like, one or two enemies, but it wasn't too crazy. Alright, we are going to be full health, going into the boss fight. The revamped boss fight, by the way. So if you don't want to get spoiled, this is where you need to, or actually, it's not even this. Like, you can watch... Actually, I, I shouldn't I shouldn't explain. This is already spoiling it, honestly. Um, basically, if you want to experience the new Doom mode Praxis fight for yourself before watching somebody do it, please stop watching at this point. This is your last warning and your only warning. <laughs> um, so without any further ado, let's just do it. We're, we're doing it. I honestly don't even know if we'll be able to beat Praxis, to be honest. Um, I don't have a lot of health, and my faith in dodging is uh, about 80% of the time I feel like I can dodge. So, not obviously that's not 100%, so... <laughs> not feeling amazing, honestly. I just need judgment. There we go. So th this is the normal fight. Uh, some attacks are slightly faster, I believe. Um, anyways, I'm skipping through all the lore because I, I already read it personally. Um, so th this is part of the new fight, or new phases, I guess, is what it really is. See, damn, 49 damage. Yeah, yeah, stop, stop with the freaking banter. Come on. Here we go. The new and improved boss fight. A fight that will not last very long because this build is ridiculously strong. Like, ridiculously strong. Ready for this? We're going to start with a dark spell cast. So you can see the chunk of damage that that did. And then we're going to have to recharge my skills because I do not have any of my skills recharged at the point, moment in time at least. Um, it, and we do this, and we do this, and you took no damage. What the hell happened there? God damn it, man. Maybe this build isn't as strong as I thought it was. Maybe it's actually weak. I actually have to go through this entire phase? Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no way. There we go, okay. Holy... I actually hit the judgment. Let's go! <laughs> That was a lot more stressful than that needed to be. <laughs> oh, my. oh my god. Anyways, so that is the new boss fight and the new weapon. Uh, try it out. I'm sure you'll have a blast. Um, once again, this build is super broken. Um, it, it's broken on basically anybody, to be honest. Um, it's just the judgment skill scales really, really well with spark rings and skill damage, because they multiply together. Um, so, that was the main part of the build, was just that judgment skill, like, scaling build. And then the other part was the spell cast, the dark spells that the new weapon can cast. Um, that just the damage goes really high, like, as you saw on one of them, 
the lightning bolt was doing like 400 damage which is absurd considering that the, the uh, default or the standard damage for it is only 30 so it's scaling up that high is just ridiculous runtime 20 minutes really slow i'm not gonna lie um obviously i'm not proficient in this character's class yet the entire build i have the storm every third attack you release the power of the razor wind you throw a razor wind out that deals a damage as it spins and then lightning um i believe it's one lightning bolt not 100 sure though it's absolute ambition which i gained 210 percent skill damage off of because i got it right at the beginning then spark ring which is just lightning damage is increased by 200 percent which the dark spell i chose is lightning so it scales with spark ring charge trinket this is the way that i can get lightning wisps conduit spike is always good because once again you're going to be third attacking which pairs nicely with eye of the storm as well plasma ball is kind of just a filler if you get it you get it it's, it's not something you're looking for storm ward decent pickup whenever an enemy is damaged by lightning there's a chance to leave a temporary static charge on the ground that stuns enemies the chance is 50 percent, so it's like you know 50 50 whether it'll leave a static charge and stun whatever it, it's decent spoon of wisdom honestly not really amazing to this build per se but it's there. Surge Pendant, this just increases our skill damage for three seconds every time I used a skill. Overlord Necklace, when I used a skill, more lightning was caused, basically. You conjure lightning, impact charm, and trusty wizard's hat just paired well with, with Storm Ward. That's the reason why I got them. Overall, the build is very, very, very simplistic. As in, you don't need a lot, it's just get some lightning relics get some scaling skill damage that's literally the entire build is just those two things and then i like to scale a move speed up much higher than i normally would just because the weapon itself feels slow it's also if you're charging your dark spell you want to be able to move decently fast so that you can charge it and still get out of the way from attacks so there's that balance as well i've been enjoying the weapon but it's still not my favorite weapon uh, staff will always be my favorite weapon. It's just super fun to use and my favorite weapon. Obviously, my opinion, whatever. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and or if this video helped you in any way and or it enlightens you to a build that you can use, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more content like this and or just to follow future videos like the complete overview i'm going to do of version 1.3 on ember knights just subscribe so you never miss another video from me if you have any comments suggestions questions tips anything you want to put or ask me put in the comments i read every single comment and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one